Creating content for your social media profiles is only half the battle. In this video, we'll show you how you can best schedule your Social Bee content by looking at the Schedule Setup and Next Posts tabs. Let's start with the schedule setup. There are a few ways in which you can set up your schedule, depending on whether you're in the onboarding phase, by using the copilot within your social B account, or by going into your schedule setup tab. Let's analyze them in more detail. In the onboarding phase, once you've connected some profiles, you'll be asked to pick between the social media copilot and tuning your workspace manually. Either one of these options will help you set up a schedule. Outside of the onboarding, you can generate a posting plan from your social media copilot tab, which bases your schedule on the suggested categories, general best practices, and some of your analytics to determine the best times to share your content. You'll reach the posting plan as your third step once you've generated content categories. You can also generate a best practice schedule directly from your schedule setup. This menu is best used together with the category system. To use it, first, you need to make sure you've created your categories and that you have posts queued up in those categories. You'll be able to use it in one of two views. The compact view will only show you those time slots when a category is scheduled. On the other hand, the calendar view will give you a 24-7 view of your week's schedule. When your schedule is empty, you'll have the option to generate one based on best practices by clicking on the link at the bottom right corner of your calendar. This system uses the preset categories in your social B account. If you don't have them anymore, you'll see random categories pop up instead. You can replace them with the categories of your choice. Alternatively, you can create a fresh schedule completely from scratch. You can start doing so by clicking on an empty time slot in the calendar view, or by clicking on Add Posting Time in the Compact View. When you're adding a posting time, you'll be able to select one or multiple social platforms, select the category you want to schedule content from, select the day or days you want your category to go out on, as well as the time you'd like it to publish at. The schedule setup will help you create a weekly pattern for scheduling your categories instead of individual posts. That way, if you want to publish a weekly blog post every week on Wednesdays, you simply schedule the category for Wednesdays. And the content will get queued up inside that category instead of having to go through the posting dates one by one. You can view your schedule setup for all of your profiles or one at a time by filtering it from the drop-down menu at the top right corner of your screen. You can also filter for different categories if you ever want to see what profiles a category is scheduled for. You're also able to edit existing posting times by clicking on the time slot you want to edit. This will allow you full control to change everything from profiles it's assigned to, category, time and day. You can even delete a posting time entirely by editing it. Once your schedule is set, you'll be able to see an overview of your content mix in the schedule statistics table on the bottom of your page. This will give you an overview of how much content you're scheduling from each category and whether your content mix is balanced. For instance, if you're working with an 80-20 rule where 80% of your content provides value and 20% of your content promotes your business, you'll be able to see exactly how many posts you're going through in a total week, as well as the percentage of the content coming from each category in a week's time. That way, you're making sure you're not oversharing or undersharing from any one of your categories. Next up, we're looking at the Next Posts tab. This is where you'll be able to see all of your next scheduled posts for each profile. First, look at the top right side of your screen and you'll be able to select your desired profile you want to see posts for in the drop-down here. Then, you'll have the content showcased in one of three ways. The list view shows you a list of your next scheduled posts, starting with the next post to go out and moving down the list. The calendar view shows you an overview of your scheduled content, allowing you to see where you're still missing content. You'll see a category placeholder in places where you have a category scheduled and you don't have any approved content going out on that profile currently. And finally, the grid preview, which is currently only available for Instagram and shows you what your content will look like on your Instagram feed. 
In this view, your next post is the one at the bottom of your queue and moving up through your grid from there. Keep in mind that your next post menu also shows posts scheduled via specific times, not just through the schedule setup. You can set posts to go out at specific times from your post editor, which will also suggest the best time to post. You can learn more about this feature from the article linked in the description of this video. Next to your next posts, you'll also see the failed posts tab, which is there to let you know what happened in case one of your posts fails to publish. Check out the article in the description of this video to learn what each posting error means. Now all that's left to do is make sure that your profile is set to running from your dashboard and that there's enough approved content to get you through until your next content batch. If you have issues with scheduling your content or any other Social Bee for that matter, please reach out to our team at success at socialbee.com.